Hey guys, today on Iceberg TV, we're here at the back nine at Reedy Creek Park. The whole front of the course seems so busy, so I figured I'd skip ahead to the back nine. But I've got a huge stack of discs thanks to Disc Golf Deals USA. Um, today we're going to be playing with the Thought Space Muse. We've got the Drew Gibson finish line first run interval. We've got the Kristen Tatar 2X Grace. We've got a K1 Glow Stig from Castaplast. We've got the new UV my boy Ezra Aderhold Nuke. We've got some kind of swirly Paul McBeth Luna. This thing actually looks very cool. And then we've got the Zoe Van Dyke Aura Mana. Is that? Yeah, or, yeah Zoe Van Dyke Aura Mana. Aura Mana. And we've got the new Yuli Jawbreaker Captain's Raptor. But anyway, back nine. Reedy Creek. Reedy Creek. Let's get this thing underway. But this UV Nuke is sick. It's already wanting to turn purple here. We'll go with this one just because it's my boy Ezra's disc. He's been a big supporter of the channel for a long time now. Oh, she's stable. Get over the wall. Oh, <laughs> smashed it right into the wall. That thing I can already tell is going to be way too overstable for me. That thing really wanted to get nose down quick. Um, we've got the Stig, which is a disc I've never thrown before. 6.5 minus 2.1. I think the six-speed slot is very underrated. And this feels very similar to me to the uh, Clash Discs Soda, which is a disc I used to really enjoy throwing. Oh yeah, that's a fun disc. So Disc Golf Deals USA has been a supporter of the channel for a very long time now. Must be well over a year at this point. And it's been really fun working with them so far. Um, we've developed a pretty good relationship. All last year, they were sending me discs to do reviews on. And then you guys went over to the website and bought discs from them. So it, it seemed to be a pretty fitting relationship because I can get all the new drops either before or when they drop, depending on which manufacturer it is. And then I can show you guys, you know, what's really what you should be getting and what you shouldn't be getting. And yeah, I hope it's been helping you guys get an informed decision about a lot of the new drops. Um, we're going to be doing all that same stuff for the season this year as well. And yeah, I'm really excited to continue to work with Disc Golf Deals USA for this disc golf season. And check this guy out. Was in the sun for only just a few seconds and now we're already pinkish purple. I think that's some really fun technology that I would like to continue to continue to see Discraft use because the EV technology color changing is absolute fire. All right, Thought Space Muse. <sighs> I guess we'll give this Luna a try too. This thing is very slippery, this Luna. <sighs> very slippery plastic on that one. Uh, this hole, 300 something feet, we should get down the fairway and go hard right. I think this UV Ezra Nuke, this thing is absurdly stiff. So if you like a nice stiff premium plastic, you're really gonna like the feel of this guy but it was really overstable on that first throw. Okay. On a forehand for me, that wasn't nearly as overstable. And now with this kind of jawbreaker-ish Captain's Raptor, so Z-Flex jawbreaker, people want the Captain's Raptor to be stable. So hopefully it's more stable than that nuke was. Not quite as overstable as I was expecting. I felt like I kind of left it a little bit right, but it had like a Sexton Firebird-ish kind of push to it. So a little bit more of a pushing flight as opposed to some of the more traditional, super overstable nine-speed fairway discs. And I film a lot of my videos out on this course, but I usually just film the video on the front nine and then, you know, dip out just because, you know, I don't, don't always have time for a full 18 or whatever the case may be. But because the course was so busy on the front end, I just <laughs> skipped to the back end. So probably a lot of you guys that watch the channel may not have ever even seen the back nine at Reedy Creek. And this is, I believe, the oldest course in Charlotte. It's either this one or Kilbourne. But I want to say that Reedy Creek might be the first ever disc golf course in Charlotte. And I believe it was built all the way back and put in in 1989. And in the 90s, I also believe they had a world championships here at one point. So I've always been a beaded putter guy. And this doesn't feel great for me, 
but this is the only baseline-ish putter that I have in the bag today. So we're just gonna do what we can do with what we have. If I had a bead, I, th I don't know, I think it might've stuck. What do you guys think? Comment down below. <laughs> All right, Z-Flex Jawbreaker Captain's Raptor. Let's try it on the backhand flex. See if we can get something to flex up to the basket there. Had a very violent swing to the left at the end. That guy's actually pretty stable, but still nice and glidey. Flies very similar to a Sexton Firebird and to the Saki Bomb Felon. It's stable, but it's like a pushing stable which I think is an essential slot in basically any player's bag. Let's give this swirly, skull-stamped Luna a test here. A lot of glide. Seems like a really good flyer. And we'll try one more disc out here. We'll try out the Aura Mana. Definitely releasing them on a little bit too much hyzer. All right, we've got another just inside circle putt. I really like the Nerve plastic um, with this Muse. It's stiff-ish, but still has like a tacky kind of suppleness to it. Like it's got that little bit of grip to it. Very similar to the Supreme Classic Judges that I really like. But again, no bead on the bottom. If I get a wizard in this plastic, I think they'd have an absolute winner. There it is. Hole 13 is very similar to hole 11, that other forehand hole we just played. We're going to give the first run forged interval a go. Definitely passes the pop top test. It's got not a super high parting line, but not a super low parting line. Kind of just seems like it would have the parting line of like a money run destroyer. It's a pretty good tee shot. It's uh, definitely stable. Put it out on a little bit of hyzer. Now we'll try the Royal Grand Grace. Also nice and stable. That Grace is a little bit more stable than I expected. Just got a huge flare skip, like 75 feet to the right. All right, we'll take a quick break from the course to just give everything a quick open field throw. Um, this is the only open field throw that we'll have basically during the round. So we'll take advantage of this open field and we'll give everything a quick toss. Um, we'll start off with the Muse. Nice. As I said before, very, very straight flyer. Then we'll go with the Aura Mana. So if I force it over, it's gonna get a bit more turn that's good to know. Now we've got the Stig. <laughs> Need to give him just a little bit more height. Got the Luna here. That's the height. Lunas have always been such good straight flyers as far as throwing putters go. They go really far compared to most putters. Now we've got Z-Flex Jawbreaker Cap Wrap. <laughs> Just as you would expect. Super duper overstable. Now I've got the Grace, the Interval, and then Ezra's Nuke. That grace goes pretty darn far. Now we've got the interval. Oh, that's nice. Curious to see which one went farther, the interval or the grace. And now we've got Ezra's magic color changing nuke. Okay. Not nearly as stable as I initially thought. I definitely had a nice little bit of flip up to it, 
but then a good hard fade to the left at the end. Um, let's go gather, gather everything up and then we'll get back on the course. Odds are most of these discs will get a full dedicated review to them, but let me know in the comment section down below which two of these discs are you guys most interested in seeing a review of, and I'll get those to you uh, sooner than the rest. Hole 14 is a unique opportunity to put a putter up in the air and see if we can get it to hold a little bit of turn. I think the Muse is going to perform nicely under this specific situation. I honestly think that was a potential ace run. That was a really good shot. Had a little bit of fade at the end, which is nice. All right, hole 15 is going to be the longest hole in the course. Um, we're going to try a backhand Kristen and a forehand Drew. Oh, that was almost good. Now we've got the Drewski. I got through everything, that was insane. All right, although that shot was a little bit lucky, absolutely parked. It's gonna have to be a point for the Drew man. That's exactly how we drew it up. Oh. Uh, that's a nice little flyer right there. Reminds me a lot of like the old champion leopards. All right, so the Stig wound up being pretty much parked. I'm gonna give you guys a little pro tip here. Hole 17, you wanna go straight and then go super hard to the left. Now, most people would think this Captain's Raptor is the right disc, but we need to go down the hill so far that we actually wanna throw something with a little bit of glide. So when you wanna get more distance to the left or to the right, you wanna go something with a little bit more glide because these overstable discs are really gonna to wanna to get nose down at, or nose up and then just drop out of the sky as to where these guys are gonna to wanna to hold that line for you much longer and give you a lot more distance laterally, which is a good thing when you need it. Captain's Raptor, so we'll compare them. That's what most people would do on this hole. And it's decent, but it's probably not gonna get us in the circle. And then we have the Stig, which I think most people probably wouldn't choose a disc like this. And we'll go see which one's closer. And I'll show you guys the science right here. Cause I'm a disc golf mad scientist. We got the cap wrap like 70 short, but most people would throw a disc like this on, on this hole. Or you can go with something with glide and a little bit flippier like the Stig. And as long as you can keep it on hyzer, we've actually got ourselves a nice circles edge putt. So instead of having almost no look at birdie with a stable disc, if you throw your less stable disc, it'll stay in the air much longer and give you so much more lateral distance than the stable one. <clears throat> and it's really easy to think, you know, more stable equals more left. That's actually not the case. Oh, there we go. Now that I'm aiming at the dead center of the pole, this putter seems to be working a lot easier for me. Not really trying to play the right side of the basket with a straight putter. If you have a straight putter, you want, you want to play towards the center. All right, I'm already going to apologize for the sun. I know you're probably not going to be able to see these very well, but it's a big forehand where we want to go straight through most of the flight and then fade to the right at the end. Those graces are nice. All right, last putt of the day. They've been feeling pretty good now that I've corrected. Last putt with the Muse. Oh, nice bid. Anyway, guys, I guess I'll give you a quick review of everything that we threw today. Um, if you haven't already, comment down below which one you want to see a full review of. Comment two discs. The discs with the most votes, the top two, I'll do those reviews first, and then we'll get to the rest of these. We've got the finish line, first run, interval, forged plastic. Really nice plastic. I like the pop top. I think this is a really high quality driver, especially if you're someone who likes destroyers. If you throw really far, this is going to be an absolute bomber for you. Um, this one's 174. I'd be interested to try one in a lighter weight. Might suit my arm speed a little bit better. Luna, 
Love the flight. Don't love this plastic. Very stiff, very slippery. Captain's Raptor. So far, I think this is the best Captain's Raptor that I've ever thrown. It's got that little bit tackier feel in the hand. I really don't like ESP plastic from Discraft. I just think it's too, it just feels cheap in the hands to me, but this does not feel cheap. This feels like a premium nine speed. It's a little bit pushier than you might expect. Kind of flies like a felon, absolute winner. Ezra Nuke, again, a little bit stiffer than you would expect, uh, but I absolutely love the color changing aspect. And this is one that I'm excited to throw more. See if I can get some true max distance lines on this at a longer course. Kristen, Tatar, Grace, two time. Absolute 11 speed bomber. Ooh, thought the camera was gonna fall over. Um, if you guys are a Kristen fan, you should buy this to support her. But if you're not a Kristen fan, you should buy this just to give it a throw. Any Latitude 64 11 speed is gonna be absolute fire. And this one does not disappoint. Good on backhand, forehand, nice and glidey, but still stable. Or a Mana, good flippy mid range. If you feel like the buzz is too stable for you, this is gonna be a really nice option. And then last but not least, we've got the Stig. Basically flies like a longer Mana. So if you throw the Mana or a similar type flippy mid-range Mana, Meteor, um, DX Rock, any of those kind of discs, the Stig is just a longer version of that. And yeah, it's a really nice flyer. So really great disc from Castaplast. If you want to check any of these out, the link is in the description below over at Disc Golf Deals USA. You can save money with my discount code. I'll see you guys in the next video and take care.